cities have risen and fallen over the centuries. Today, the crisis is very different. Increasing population is forcing rural to urban migration and the cities are swelling beyond their capacities. India needs to address the challenges of creating and maintaining cities that are sustainable, smart and healthy. Further, in order to promote manufacturing, there is a need to create state-of-the-art plug-and-play infrastructure which can match global standards. The Industrial Corridor Project is a pioneering solution for India's development crisis. As one of India's largest infrastructure projects, with a proposed $100 billion investment, with an aim to provide world-class sustainable infrastructure for promoting manufacturing and industrialization, one of the immediate objectives of the Industrial Corridor Project is to offer a robust transportation-led plug-and-play industrial ecosystem which will give a boost to manufacturing and provide more and more employment opportunities. This dream is being scripted in the heartland of India and it starts with the aim of unhindered last mile connectivity. The dedicated freight corridor is the artery for a whole new industrial ecosystem connecting greenfield manufacturing hubs and smart cities on the western side. India's vast rail network of 1 lakh kilometers has enabled the movement of goods and people through history. The 3,300 kilometer long dedicated freight corridor is a roadmap for the future that will connect the different smart cities across the country with ports and other manufacturing hubs. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor or DMIC will be connected by a 1,500 kilometer long Western DFC. These smart industrial cities of tomorrow start at ground zero. Once complete, they will carry India into a new era of development. These smart industrial cities are templates for a future ready India and will mark its rise on the global stage. Tolera Special Investment Region in Gujarat. From planning to execution, sustainability is the keystone. The aim is to get everything benchmarked against the world's best. The plan is to construct roads, underground utilities, treatment plants, administrative buildings in a sustainable and eco-friendly manner. Ease of doing business in these smart industrial cities will be facilitated by efficient energy and communication solutions. High voltage electrical trenches, a city-wide Wi-Fi and fiber-based network will ensure cost-efficient power and high-speed internet. Drains and sewage lines are designed keeping in mind rising sea levels. These are the chambers. Uh, we have basically stormwater drain, that is one huge uh, duct. We have the power duct, we have the communication uh, duct, then we have the portable water networks, then we have the recycle networks, then we have the industrial effluent networks, and then we have the sewerage networks. So basically, I think eight uh, to nine networks, ducts under the roads at one point. All utilities, including water, are controlled via a central SCADA system, and everything is mapped on a single grid and will be managed, controlled and monitored by a central command and control center. A central command and control center will allow 24 by 7 monitoring and uninterrupted supervision of urban civic utilities in an integrated manner. A plug and play existence will improve the happiness index of residents as well as facilitate setting up of new businesses. In the near future, there'll be no need for physical collection and overground transportation of garbage. All the waste will be directly suctioned through vacuum pipes segregated for wet and dry waste. This will be transported directly to a central handling facility for recycling and further processing. Every smart city's development story is one that carries its various stakeholders from the high-value industrial investors to the small farmers. The first and the biggest challenge was to convince the farmers to give up a portion of their land. The project has come here. After that, the land has become 24 hours at night. These smart cities are trying to create a progressive template. The idea is to better lives. 
from construction workers to technicians and other support staff, there are a plethora of jobs. These cities are also generating employment across the board and bringing in skilled and unskilled labor from around the country. Skilled labor is ready for three months here. These industrial smart cities are just the beginning of a new age India. Some of the best uh, names in construction business are involved in the, in the project. What has been constructed certainly is of uh, excellent quality. So there is a lot of reasons why we believe that what has been planned, which is a world-class infrastructure, is actually taking shape in front of us. I think, you know, the government has really uh, taken a step forward and provided a uh, one-window approach. It's a one-stop solution for all the industries where you can, there is a web portal where we can go and apply for all the um, permissions or uh, statutory approvals which are required. We don't need to get environmental clearance. AITL already got permission from central government. A new India is being built brick by brick on the backbone of a robust manufacturing sector. The dream is very close to becoming a reality. The vision is for a new India, which is future ready and future proof for all its 1.3 billion citizens.